Hello, with a bag here, episode 30. So let's get back to building the uh, bartering farm. Hopefully I can finish it in this episode. And as you can see, one of my cats have decided to come through with me. Um, it's all well and good, but I don't think they've got the capacity to be able to scare off ghasts. But there's no creepers here, so, you know, uh, so I will take my cat back and then get started with finishing this battering farm build thingy um and i did not um build it in creative or anything first um i'm not really sure what i think about it blackstone with like normal bricks and uh quartz i think the quartz and the blackstone look really good together i'm just not sure about the bricks but oh i can always change it if it's if it's not right um so yeah let's get into it and i'll see you up there of course not before getting some blaze rods i seem to have misplaced the blazes um at the base um i'm not sure either that or cosmo has used them all either way here i am just getting some blazers and this is the first time i've been here and i think it's really clever on how it works like lava pushing them into that hole um so yeah let's just get a few blazers and uh hopefully then i can make some brewing stands for the potions that the piglins are giving us and then we can increase the time on those potions uh, which will be well worth it
I am currently up in the gold farm, uh, replenishing some gold that I have taken. And as you can see, there is a piglin just casually walking around. Now, where did he spawn? That's an interesting one. Let's see if we can figure it out. Well, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I believe this uh, zombified piglin has actually spawned on a shulker box. So, hmm, I need to stop leaving shulkers lying around. Um, I don't think there's enough room for a gas to spawn in there. But I don't fancy taking any chances. Because uh, if... Um, I know they need a bit more like room, but um, but they really shouldn't be uh, spawning in here. So I think shulkers are the culprit of this. So at least that's a problem solved. I didn't realise that at the time though. And here is the finished look. Um, I think it looks okay. Uh, definitely outside. Black and white obviously go very well together. Um, but um, obviously being in the nether, 
definitely better to have spawn proof stuff so uh yeah um and here i am now trying to empty all the chests so i shall not uh, keep showing this because it's not exactly entertaining right um as you can see i have finished um so uh i've put a sign oh withers cosmos and zaphod's battering farm um because zaphod has kindly let us share his gold farm um so uh removed shulkers um because they were a bit of a problem i need to kind of try and get in here somehow and place the uh slabs so you see everybody else oh there we go that was easy um first time lucky um i won't be able to do it again though um but uh i've added the uh brewing stands uh so in here we've got the three minute ones uh, we've got loads of three minute ones and then uh, in here, uh, the eight minute ones, I've done quite a few, uh, which I think you've seen in the time lapse. I was uh, coming here in between building, hence why it took two <coughs> or one and a half episodes. So because I've still got some time to fill for this one, I thought we'd just show you a light round. I've added the uh, lanterns and I'm not 100% sure, but I think Cosmo has an obsession with granite. It, go, it goes well with bricks, but there's not much else that it goes with. Um, I thought he may have just done normal stone for his redstone, but no, he's used part stone bricks. So on that end one, he's used stone bricks and then the rest is granite. Why couldn't he just use, carried on using stone bricks or did he run out of granite and then use the stone bricks at the end um he can sort that out uh but yeah i put lanterns in here looks better than torches and in here is obviously where all the all the books and stuff are uh just keeping soul speed three uh because um it's pretty it's pretty expensive to be perfectly honest if, like using your levels to put the books together that's probably full oh no not quite i do keep popping by and emptying it um i mean uh just look at all this black stone we never have to grind for it again which is awesome um obviously uh these have been gradually building up. Um, don't know if they've still got any gold. Let's have always, yeah, that's always a bonus. And that was another thing that I kept doing. Uh, I um, did keep popping up to the gold farm to get a bunch of uh, gold to keep these guys going while I was in the area. But um, yeah, I must say that I'm impressed with the quartz, but yeah, we need to sort that out. Uh, I may have to take a row of black stone out, or shall I just, we've got a stone cutter, right. Let's do this. Uh, let's just take the floor out. Um, uh, but I don't, <sighs> Uh, have I got any wood on me? Probably not, because it's not something I tend to carry around, especially you know, I've used loads of it for the chest in here and I did have to keep going and getting more wood, really. Uh, right, let's break half of it. Oh yeah, and I won't pick up the chest. 
Oh, I can I have the chest, please? Thank you. Right. Then, if we put this here, and let's try and pick some bits up. Um, I have a potato because I did find a uh, a zombie um, at some point. Is there anything else that needed to go in there? I don't think so. Uh, and this is the other. Are you kidding me? Please do not tell me that. Uh, yep, planks. So I could make one more chest if I wanted to. Uh, I've got gunpowder because I was under the impression of um, the fact that uh, gunpowder uh, made the splash potions into uh, eight minute ones. But no, apparently you just needed the ordinary, um, what do you call it? Ordinary redstone. I need to sort my inventory out because this is a bit ridiculous. And obviously, uh, you saw that um, I went to the blaze farm, which was really good to see how that worked. Put those there for now. Um, I don't know why we do need some here. Um, there we go and then i did so i have to be careful with uh with shulkers because apparently uh, there's my beacon and um let me uh just point out yes i'm still wearing my medal maybe soon i'll take it on um so they're bricks do i have what's in here Iron? No, that's an empty one. Aha! Pots! Right, so I don't need 13 obviously, but uh, actually I might do. Let's uh, let's start with figuring out inventory management. Right, let's put those there. Um, right, I think I can get here. Hopefully this doesn't, uh, uh, really, hopefully this doesn't affect Cosmo's uh, redstone, but Cosmo's redstone just has tended to go a bit wrong just recently. Um, but yeah, I do like the quartz and I do like the black, polished blackstone. Um, just not a hundred percent sure on uh, the um, bricks and certainly not the granite blocks uh, da -da -da. Right. and the only bedrock is under those hoppers but I'm not too worried about that I don't want the chests to look like they're floating because that's not ideal either. But on the plus side, I got to the bottom of mob spawning. Uh, it was a blackstone. I've got a uh, shulker somewhere in here. With, uh, I'm sure I saw some. Aha! Blackstone. Stairs. Uh, yes, I do have two shulkers full of blackstone, but, well. When you can, might as well. Alright, that's. Eh. That's just for odds and ends and stuff, and obviously the blaze rods are good to keep here for the um, uh, brewing stands. Um, so, yeah, uh, this has taken me much longer than I thought it was going to. But I tend, I do tend to dilly dally a lot. So I'll start one thing and then do fifteen other things, and then I'm like, I get lost where everything is. So um, 
but yeah, uh, that's uh, obviously recorded uh, golf farm. Um, and uh, this is the uh, hole uh, that uh, we were talking about in the uh, previous episode, although you might not have seen uh, chat. Whoa. But yeah, basically this is a FOD um, and he's put glowstone all around it. So at first when I was seeing things just popping in, I knew that it wasn't on the roof that they could spawn, but then I started questioning if I had been putting spawnable blocks in there. And then uh, Rico did thought maybe it was on his glowstone that they were spawning. But as it turns out, it seems it was just my shulkers that was uh, um, that was the cause of all of that. But well, you learn something new every single day. Um, but yeah, so uh, well, we've got quite a bit of stuff. I mean, obsidian you don't seem to get loads of, but uh, helpful because uh, then that means you can have ender chests everywhere without actually having to go mining the obsidian which is uh, brilliant you get actually you get more crying obsidian so let's see right this is the crying obsidian so we've got nearly a full double chest far in a bit and yeah that's about what half of a double chest full so yeah so crying obsidian you do get more of than obsidian uh blacks stone you tend to get a lot of um apparently the piglins don't always want their gold so um but i think it's not that i think it's because in some cases the uh the hopper picks them up too quickly uh so let's give them some more gold and then and keep giving us items um i hope i'm uh I hope I'm um, not taken away from uh, Zach's um, AFK because uh, he's AFK, but I'm not sure where. So uh, sorry, Zach, if your rates aren't very good. If you're at your gold farm, um, I will be leaving in a moment anyway. But yeah, I mean, fire charges are pretty good. Um, Ender pearls as well are. But then it look probably looks like you get a lot of ender pearls, but they do only stack in sixteens. So, uh, but yeah, I'm uh, I am quite impressed. I redid really this sign, um, but I don't think I've done it any better because it basically on this it looks like our base is like down there, but it's not. It's there, so I've badly placed that. Recoded is more or less right, but. I suppose I could put a sign on here, like, down to Wither and Cosmo. Um, but uh, also, uh, I don't know if I've actually pointed this uh, this out, but uh, Recoded has done his, uh, done his uh, path, or he's started doing his, his path. But this is so much, so much better, because it can just fly down it now before i had issues flying although if i fly from that way i always miss this because this is like quite a bit smaller so maybe i could look into extending uh my tunnel just a tad bit more so it maybe so it comes out here or something but i do like when i'm flying i mean there was one time i nearly actually fell off this trying to land um, oh, there's a gas up down there. Oh, I need to fix that. Cosmo used the bedrock hole. Now let's have a look. Uh, oh, I oh, I thought it was up there, but maybe it isn't. But the bedrock hole is obviously somewhere. And um it might be over there somewhere. Uh, but Cosmo had done like a weird staircase thing down um and basically it, it wasn't safe because he was like oh yeah watch out for the blazes 
Yeah, cheers, Cosmo. It's bad enough going through the never with no gold boots because you want piglins to chase you. But at the same time, you certainly don't want uh, any other mob trying to trying to uh, get you. Right, let's go down here. Let's sort this out while I'm thinking about it. And then it's done then. Uh, yeah, I'll have to put my ender chest down. That's no big deal. Uh, but obviously, you know, oops, a daisy. We do want it to be uh, safe uh, down here. So, believe bricks. And where did my ah quartz go? Right, so you go there. You go there. I don't. I don't need that many. But um. But yeah, let's just sort this out because. I do not want any nasty surprises. I don't know why I got bricks. I obviously thought some bricks had been taken out, but no, that's that's all uh, all good. So uh, yeah, uh, on the plus side, we've got two safe tunnels, which I can't ask for any more because I don't like the Nether anyway. So uh, certainly don't want to be. Uh, what you call it, uh, putting myself in danger. I mean, um, already, you know, um, Zach's scary night took me to 15 deaths and then I fell off the gold farm twice. So that took me to 17. I would like to concentrate on trying to keep the least deaths on the server. Uh, so, uh, basically, Karis, you have got nothing to worry about. Um, but yeah, I'll just go to sleep real quick. Um, not that there's that much point, you know, only get an hour or an hour and a half. There we go. Um, and uh, so there we go. Um, I am going to call this the uh, end of the episode. Uh, don't forget to check the other live crafters uh, in the description below. Um, there's some really good, good builders and and stuff on on Lifecraft. Um, most of which are better than I am, uh, but um, yeah if you check them out and uh this is a bit of a shorter episode um but uh i hope you enjoyed it and i'll catch you next time on the lifecraft server so bye for now